हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू आवर नेक्स्ट वीडियो फ्रॉम चैप्टर नंबर ट्वेल्व गोइंग टू द मून फ्रॉम योर साइंस टेक्सट बुक सो माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स टूडे आई एम हेयर विथ एक्सरसाइजेस ऑफ चैप्टर ट्वेल्व दैट इज गोइंग टू द मून सो माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस चैप्टर यू हैड ऑलरेडी स्टडी अबाउट some people who went to the moon so let's recap before starting the exercises of this chapter the students in this chapter we learn about the natural satellite of our earth that is the moon the students you know very well the moon is the nearest neighbor of the earth and in 1969 neil armstrong became the first man to step on the moon my dear students you know very well there is no life on the moon and the reason you know very well that i explained you in our previous video so students In this chapter you also learn about the first indian woman to go into space she was kalpana chawla so students who was the first indian woman to go into the space right kalpana chawla and the second woman to go into the space was Sunita Williams and she stayed in space for 6 months so students this was all about the chapter now without a wasting time let's come to the exercises of this chapter so are you ready students look here this is the exercises of this chapter let us answer question number a draw a moon for the true statements and a ball for the false ones so students in your previous chapters you write t for the true statement and f for the false one but now in this exercise you have to draw a moon for the true statement and a ball for the false statement so you have to draw moon like this and ball like this that is shown here so students look at our first statement man landed on the moon in the year 1959 students is it true no why because the man landed on the moon in the year 1969 not 59 so here you will draw a ball like this next one is questions or uh, sorry statement number 2 we cannot live on the moon yes the statement is true we cannot live on the moon because there is no air to breathe on the moon and there is no water to drink no trees or flowers can grow on the moon so there is no life on the moon so the statement is true so here you have to draw a moon on this box now third statement kalpana chawla went into space in 1997 so students this statement is true because kalpana chawla went into the space for the first time in 1997 so here what you have to draw yes you will draw a moon next fourth statement that is 
सुनीता विलियम्स के इन स्पेस फॉर ट्वेल्व मंथ्स सो इज इट ट्रू नो बिकॉज सुनीता विलियम स्टेड इन स्पेस फॉर सिक्स मंथ्स दैट आई हैव टोल्ड यू इन द एक्सप्लेनेशन ऑफ दिस चैप्टर सो हियर यू विल ड्रॉ अ बॉल ओके नाउ स्टूडेंट्स लेट्स मूव ऑन टू अवर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन दैट इज क्वेश्चन नंबर बी fill in the blanks there is no dash to breathe on the moon so what will you write here yes you will write here a i a r air there is no air to breathe on the moon next is there is no dash to drink on the moon so students what you need to drink right it's water so here you will write water w a t e r water now third there is no dash on the moon here answer will be life l i f e life now fourth one Dash was the first Indian woman to go into space. Who was she? Yes, Kalpana Chawla. Here you will write K A L P A N A Kalpana C H A W L A Chawla. So Kalpana Chawla was the first Indian woman to go into the space. so students question number a and b is completed now and i hope you understood how to fill it next is question number c match the columns to complete the sentences so students here two columns are given you have to match it to complete the given sentences so students here first one is the moon is the earth so students you know very well moon is the earth's nearest neighbor so here you will match it with nearest neighbor next one is neil Sta neil armstrong was students neil armstrong was the first man to step on the moon so you have to match like this next one the astronauts bought the so students the astronauts bought the soil and photographs of the moon so you will match like this next trees and flowers cannot grow on the moon last one you have to match like this so this exercise is completed now and i hope you understood all this exercises very well by the help of this video now students you have to fill all these exercises in your book and you have to write all these three exercises in your notebook and don't forget to learn this in our next video we will discuss about our remaining exercises from this chapter that is answer this questions some hot questions and the enrichment activities from this chapter now students explanation of these three exercises is completed i hope you understood it very well now your turn to study it and grasp it till then stay safe stay healthy and stay at your home thank you students bye and take care